<laughs> when I post these pink flies on my social media, honestly, I'm just posting some sayings and just hope people can relate to them. And, and, and someone can relate to every pink flyer that I have on my social media. It's so funny that I can post some and nobody responds. And I can post some and then people just start, you know, assuming I'm talking to someone. Like today, I post, um, let me tell you what my post says today on my social media. My post says today, what's it called? when we have girls night out and everybody eating and drinking but I'm the only one paying. Well, I've already gotten a couple of text messages. One of my friends texted me just now and said, hey, I'm guilty of being around sometimes and not chipping in on the bill. For that, I'm sorry and it won't happen again. Definitely don't want you to think I'm around for free meals and drinks, etc. I was only just posting the fly. I mean, yeah, you know, it's true. That part is something that's true, you know, that happens to me a lot. But um, I was just posting me fly. I wasn't directing it to anyone in particular. And so one of my other girlfriends texted me and she said, oh, people are such losers. And, <laughs> and then I have a lot of my friends are commenting on my uh, post right now. It's so hilarious. One of my friends says it's called selfish and greedy and not a friend and all kinds of stuff. But it, what's funny is my aunt used to use a, a little saying. She says, um, and you might can relate, she says, um, a hit dog will holler. Got it? A hit dog will holler, right? So that pink post hit and the dogs are hollering. <laughs> it's the truth, oh my God. I don't mind picking up checks or bills, you know, for my friends when we go out to eat and drink, but I want it to be my choice. I don't want it to feel like when they bring the check, everybody just fold their hands. And I also don't like it when I have a friends, regular friends that are consistently doing this to me. Like every single time we go out, they don't reach in their purse or in their pocket. Every single time. And that is where the problem lies. Now, we are in different income brackets. And this is what I've told some of my friends that say, I don't have that kind of money. I can't pay for that kind of check. I've given them great examples. I said, okay, you can't afford a check like that. But what you can do is when we go out for lunch, you can pick up my lunch ticket. Or after I pay a big ass bill like that, you can pay for my valet parking. Cause that you can do. So that shows that you appreciate it. Then hold on, let me, I tip the man for your valet. What is that, five bucks? When we go out, to have lunch, you know, I, I'm not a big eater, so I'm gonna have soup or a salad or something, and what is that gonna cost you, 10 bucks or $15? And you can say, you know what, Nene, I'm paying for our lunch today. You know, that makes me feel like, okay, that's fine, because when we go out to these five and six star restaurants, it feels really crazy to me for you to sit at the table and order a lobster and then just sit there and fold your hands at the end of the day. Why are you eating lobster? You actually should be eating the napkins because you can't afford to pay for anything. Okay, bye. Different. Everybody eats differently, but um, cooking, I, I love to cook. I'm a good cook. I'm a Southern cooker. Yes, for the southern cook, putting some meat on your bones, okay? But um, I love cooking. I just don't have a lot of time to cook. And it's crazy, when I cook, I don't know how to cook small. Like, I feel like I always make it, everything is just be big and big. I'm like, this is so much, you know? And then I don't like leftovers, so I end up throwing stuff away. But um, 